the world's saying, look, you got a choice. You can either fix it or I can fix it. And if I fix it, you're not going to like it because I'm going to throw everything away. And everything means most of us. We humans have been using energy for as long as we've been around. Um, we extract energy from our environments in various ways. Food is the most basic form of energy, and then we, we exert energy into our environment by way of muscle power. We've been doing that for a very long time, and gradually using our, our intelligence, our opposable thumbs, language, all of these special gifts, we've been able to increase our ability to extract energy from the environment by way of fire, agriculture, harnessing animals to carts and sleds and all kinds of things. But with fossil fuels, we came across an energy source that was far beyond anything we had been using previously. Those of us who are alive today uh, take fossil fuels for granted. We've always had them around. Doesn't matter whether you're 20 years old or 70 years old, we've all grown up during this unique historic period of cheap, abundant energy from coal, oil, and natural gas. Even 150 years ago, something like 65% of the work being done in the American economy was being done by horses, oxen, mules. Another 18% or so was being done just by human muscle power. And the rest, less than 20% of the work getting done was being done by fuel-fed machines. Now, virtually all the work is being done by fuel-fed machinery. The contribution of muscle power is virtually non-existent by comparison. So w this is a, a completely different way of living, of thinking about the world. And for us, it's just something to be expected, that there's always going to be a machine to take care of us, to produce our foods, to carry us from one place to another. Imagine pushing your car 20 or 30 miles. That's what we get from a single gallon of gasoline that we pay maybe $2.50 for. That amount of work is roughly equivalent to six to eight weeks of hard human labor. Imagine getting six to eight weeks of hard human labor for $2.50. That's what we've gotten used to.